Hello YouTube, it is Jade Weird here, and today I am here to talk about something somebody posted on Facebook. Someone posted a status, he mentioned how he didn't understand why people don't chase after their quote-unquote crazy dream, and is it because it's just too crazy of a dream, or what? But I'm gonna read exactly what the status said, okay scratch that. He was pretty much saying like, why do people settle just for a normal? And people, I guess, whenever they're younger, they have bigger ambitions as to what they want to do in life. And like, oh, I want to do, you know, I want to become a professional wrestler, or I want to become a football player, or I want to become a singer, you know, something ambitious like that. And I feel like when it comes to why people end up settling for a normal life, they get as you could say caught up in what they're doing you know say they meet somebody and they end up starting a family and before they know it you know they're moving into a house and they're raising a family and it becomes that day by day routine and I feel like a lot of Americans are just like stuck in that current that's the main reason why they can't or why they didn't chase after their crazy dream because they just got too comfortable they're stuck and it's like when you live day to day it comes down to a point like oh I can finish that tomorrow or I can get around to that later and it's just like well why not do it now why not get it out of the way now and I feel as if a lot of people are just lazy and that's why we put things off because it's just like they have the time to do it and no they don't have to do it today and and he mentions how we are we're only young once and whenever you get older you don't want to look back and say oh I should have done this I should have done that but whenever you're older you should be looking back and thinking oh do you remember that one time we went to the Grand Canyon or we climbed Mount Ever Everest whatever it is it's just like why not just do it now you know say fuck it you know, that seems to be a term this generation uses a lot it's just like ah fuck it let's just do it just fuck it I've got a bucket full of fuckets kind of thing he said not to buy into society's definition of success because it's not working for everybody which is very true because a lot of Americans these days are struggling and that's because you know we got too comfortable I think and lazy not as ambitious as we used to be we don't come together anymore when we have issues in our society every everybody's too focused on themselves it's like oh like one of my friends says people walk with their their blinders on because oh I'm not gonna pay attention to what's happening over there I gotta get to work and pay my bills because they're stuck They're stuck with, with all these bills and so that's all they can focus on they don't want to focus on what's happening outside the world and I feel like that's what our society does to us by keeping us distracted and to a point to where you know we only think about ourselves that way you know we're not trying to protest certain things or trying to really change anything that's going on I think our generation is going to change the way the world works hopefully in the future because I do think our generation is full of ambition I'm a very ambitious person I know I personally am not going to settle for a quote unquote normal life. I am going to chase after my crazy dream regardless of whether or not anybody is going to support me in it because I don't want to I I don't want to live a normal life. You know, normal was just never really in the cards for me. I've never really been defined as a normal person, hence why I call myself Jay Weir because I've always seen myself as a very strange and weird individual which I wish more people would you know I'm not afraid to make fun of myself I'm not afraid to laugh at myself I guess it really depends you know of course I'm not afraid to do that to myself but once other people start doing it well I guess they just like to push my buttons but he mentioned one thing that I didn't quite agree with and it was why have a plan B in life because it distracts you from plan A and you know if you're making all these other plans for that's distracting you from the bigger picture but although I can see where you're going that you always got to have a plan B all right you know what the zombie apocalypse happens tomorrow 
and you're planning for plan A, well, plan A is down the drain when the zombie apocalypse happens, all right? You got, you always gotta have a plan B, dude. You know, whether or not it's something simple, you just always gotta have a backup. You can't just not think the world is gonna turn out the way you plan it. Okay, you always gotta have a backup regardless. I can say that I personally have decided who I want to be in this life and what I want to do and that is I want to work with people, I want to photograph their stories and I want to reach out to people and give back to the community because you know who wouldn't want to give back to the community. I, if I had the money I, I would do it more now but you know I'm still trying to get myself out of here. I honestly don't feel like my life is really going to start until I get out of my hometown. I feel a lot of people these days also don't know how to really live freely anymore considering you know money does dominate a lot of what people can do in this country and when people are more focused on paying their bills you know they don't really have the freedom to go out and do things they like because taxes are going up and things are just changing to where you know people can't really go out and enjoy themselves anymore because like I said, we're all stuck in the, we're all a bunch of fish stuck in this net in the same current and it's just hard for a lot of people to break free of that, especially with all the, all the bills that people have to pay these days. All I can say is, if you really want to be successful, don't lose your ambition, don't get caught up in the simple life. I mean, if you really want to, if living the simple life is what you want to do, I'm not saying there's anything wrong that but I was just more responding to what my uh, Facebook friend posted on his Facebook because I thought it was a really interesting topic as to why people choose not to chase after their crazy dreams I guess I could relate it to this book I've been reading Fahrenheit 451 where the protagonist claims how they have everything they have to be happy but it when it all boils down to it he's not happy and that's why he doesn't understand why why they have to burn the books and whatnot and he thinks the books are hold the key as to what happiness is because if they're already supposed to have everything supposedly it takes to be happy how come he doesn't feel that way and he thinks the reason they have to burn the books is because they their society or government whoever realized oh these are going to allow people to think individually and we're not going to be able to control them the way we want to so we have a lot of things that you know we are thankful for and that what we have to be happy but it's like at the same time people get stressed out a lot easier because you know they are running behind on bills or whatever it's the little things that tend to get to us these days if you have any questions about this video please be sure to comment below um let me know what you think have any other topics you feel I could shed some enlightenment on you know I like debates whatever feel free to let me know. stay in school kids don't lose that ambition